Next news, I want to thank Subham for giving us this suggestion. It's out of India. Donald Trump boxed in India, installs six-foot statue of him, performs puja with milk. Busa Krishna, a farmer in Telanganga, who is often referred as, regarded as Trump boxed in India, has taken his devotion to the next level. He installed a six-foot statue of Trump on the latter on the on Trump's birthday on June fourteenth. The Telaganda farmer, who also performed a puja with a statue of milk, came into the limelight as a Trump fan when pictures of him offering prayers to the photo of Donald Trump went viral on social media, dismissing all allegations that he is praying Trump that he is praying Trump only for publicity. He has said that he has prayed to the United States president to bid an improvement on the U.S.-India relations. So in, in looking at more into the story to kind of see how people around India feel about this guy, um, I saw an interview that someone had done with this guy's mother, and she said that she's very disappointed in her son's choice to uh, <laughs> worship <laughs> Trump. And she said so, it, it, the way she said it was so adorable. It was like this mother who, you know, really wanted to be proud of her son, but was like, oh, no, not this, <laughs> please. Um, but she said that because he is their only son, they're there to support him, even Aww. though they don't approve this <laughs> Like, what can we do? He's our son. What can we do? We should still what love him. Uh, I, I, by the way, we we reported on this guy a couple of months ago, didn't we? But we I did. I think his religion has now evolved because it was before we reported on him. It was just him and like three or four other people. But now he has a temple and everything. So I thought like this is going to be a temporary thing and it's just going to die out. Like he was just fascinated with trauma and he had pictures and everything. But now this is actually turning into a legit cult. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. I mean, he's getting more and more people to come. And you know, it's it's crazy. But and he used to only have pictures. Right. So when we, when we reported on this way earlier, uh, he had a temple with like a picture of Trump right. and offerings around it. Uh, and now... It's this huge six foot tall statue. So I, I want to like, I really want to meet this guy. Like, does he think like he's God? Like, like, is there, is there like, it, did he create anything? Does Trump have like any superpowers or like, how does that work? I know. How many, do you know how many people he has managed to convert to his religion? I don't, but the numbers are growing. That's all we know. Wow. Imagine, uh, what happens when Trump is not president anymore? Is his religion going to die, or is he? Yeah, just, I, mean, I bet you know. I bet Trump is going to go back to being that successful business tycoon. Uh, <laughs> he's just going to keep on worshiping him. <laughs> I, the, I I wonder if Trump knows about this. He he probably he does. Love, he does. Oh, he does. Yes. So Trump actually heard about this and has weighed in that he thinks it's great. Obviously. He <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. Like you're like fine. Uh, he probably said finally. This is <laughs> why can't more people in the U.S. be like this guy? Uh, <laughs> let me see what the top comment is. Uh, um, top comment says newest addition to their group of gods. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean it's India. Right? What do you expect? Um, let me see. What else? What else? <laughs> oh, actually, a lot of, I mean, a lot of people um, say God Emperor to Trump, but obviously that's a joke. This guy is actually serious. This is not the God Emperor that the Trump supporters say. Oh, by the way, it cost him $2,000 to make what this. What the statue. hell? He, he paid out of pocket or the people? Yes. This guy is dedicated. Holy shit. I wonder how far he's going to go. Like, let's make a bet. I don't like, know. Like before his religion dies. Maybe 500 years from now, this is going to be one of the world's major religions. I don't know. Right? Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. 
Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.